Hey guys, Bump here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unclog your main sewer line, uh, or unclog your main drain. Uh, so I've got an issue with tree roots in my sewer line. Uh, the reason I know that is I made a, a do-it-yourself sewer camera, and I was able to get footage of those uh, those tree roots in my main line, uh, or in my, my sewer line with that sewer camera. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, you can check out up here, I'll put a link up there as well. Uh, but with the aid of that sewer camera, they were able to see that I do have an issue with tree roots in my sewer line. Uh, so I'm gonna rent a mechanical auger and show you guys how to use that to uh, to clear out your main line or to unclog your uh, your sewer line using that mechanical auger or a uh, roto rooter. So when you have tree roots in your sewer, uh, the best thing to do is to uh, remove those mechanically using a uh, mechanical auger or a mechanical snake. Uh, so I'm gonna do that today to, to uh, unclog that main drain or the, the main line. Now then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow up with a chemical treatment to try to keep those roots at bay after I've uh, removed the uh, the tree roots with the mechanical auger. So I've rented this auger from the, the fine folks at our local home improvement store. I'm guessing you could probably guess who that was, but uh, you can rent these guys from anywhere from uh, 50 to 100 bucks. Um, I went ahead and rented this one for the day so I can take my time and, and do a thorough cleaning. Uh, so I, I know exactly what the problem is. Uh, you see I've got a uh, an access here uh, just just in front of this uh, this uh, this auger uh, this, this roto rooter um, so I was able to uh, to locate my problem with my uh, my sewer camera so I've got a big maple tree here and uh, just about 10 or 12 uh, feet uh, from that sewer access right in this area here I've got some tree roots that are growing from, uh, from that big maple tree uh, so I'm gonna get in and do a real thorough cleaning on those tree roots and uh, try to eliminate this problem for a uh, uh, at least for the immediate future and then uh, you know maybe somewhere down the road we'll do a repair on this uh, the sewer line all right let's go so the the roto rooter or drain snake that I'm using here is a, a general speed rooter 92r so it's a it's an auto feed uh, rooter uh, made for you know doing your main lines or, or cutting through tree roots in your main sewer line uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, below if you look at this little QR code here get full uh, detailed instructions on how to use this machinery so when you rent one of these uh, mechanical snakes or augers uh, it comes with four different attachments uh, so the first attachment is a, a arrowhead or spade head uh, bit so this guy uh, used for you know opening up and, and getting your your water flowing again uh, this one's a uh, a C blade uh, so it's you know a little bit larger uh, going to be used for uh, for cleaning and finishing off uh, um, your, your your cleaning of the pipe. Uh, this one's a uh, the more aggressive one, so this one's you know, got the teeth uh, turned to the side. So this is going to be uh, used for cutting through roots. So this is your root cutter. Uh, this guy's close to three inches in size, and then you've got the uh, the retrieval tool. Uh, used to retrieve uh, objects, whether it's you know root balls or uh, clothing, towels, anything that might be uh, be blocking the line. So this guy will, will poke through it, and, and it'll get caught in this uh, this little uh, retrieval tool, and uh, you can retrieve that out of your line. So I'm gonna start out with this uh, arrowhead bit. Uh, I believe this guy is one and a half inches wide. So you see, it's got four little blades there. So not a lot of cutting going on with this guy. It's just mainly going to poke a hole and get, uh, especially with our roots, uh, just going to poke a hole and get our, our claw gun done. Uh, so this is a good one to start with. Uh, so I'm going to give this guy a try first and get the water flowing again. When you're running your, your drain auger or your, your, your roto rooter, you want to have the uh, this line stuffed as far down in there as you can and have the machine uh, as close as you can to, the, uh, to your clean out point. Um, that's to prevent it from whipping around and you know, if, it, if it hits some sort of obstruction uh, it, can, it can start to coil up and then spring back and spring back and injure you so you know that's for your safety to have that have that as close as you can to your clean out and uh, have that cool stuff down in there as far as you can you don't want it uh, flinging around uh, outside so switch here this is the off position uh, this is the forward position that's where you're going to run it it'll actually run in forward and reverse in this position but while you're using the machine this is the position the switch is going to be in and then if you get stuck uh you know on some roots or you know, some object uh, you can actually run it in reverse uh, but you just want to do that you know pulse it uh, as 
uh, just for a couple seconds at a time. You don't want to run it for an extended period of time in reverse. Uh, so you just want to pulse that guy if, if you need to, if you get stuck. So to start the rotation of the drum and the auger, step on the pedal and then to stop it, you just step off. So it's a, a safety feature and a present detection. Uh, make sure that you're, you're here with the machine uh, when it's running and rotating. So to move it forward, you have the lever down in this direction clockwise. So guys, it really is an easy job to rent your own sewer snake and, uh, and do this job yourself. Uh, you can do most of it with your, your foot on a pedal and a beer in your hand and let the snake do, uh, do all the work. With this auto feed snake, it, it really is easy. So now that I got it broke loose, I'm gonna go and uh, run some, uh, some water in to continue to flush the line. Uh, so again, I just started with the, the small uh, spade head first to, to, get, to get it broke loose. And then I uh, get the lane, get, I'm gonna get the, the line drained out. And then uh, so I'm just running here on neutral right now where it, where it met that clog. Get it drained out and then I'm gonna start uh, running some water to flush out, uh, flush out the line. And we're gonna switch heads and uh, see if we can't get some of these roots out of here. All right, water's flowing. Uh, relax a little bit, take a little sip of my beer. I'm gonna switch over, uh, switch the heads on the snake, and uh, uh, see if we can get uh, get these roots uh, taken care of and get them cleared out of the line. All right, so I've worked it until I uh, met a good bit of resistance, and uh, got as many turns as I could without it starting to really torsion up. So uh, I'm gonna try to remove these roots out of here now. Hopefully, be able to retrieve some of those here. We'll know in just a second. So that retrieval head is just starting to come back and it got to where it was completely blocked up no water flow and then all of a sudden it just completely broke loose like the <laughs> the dams had broken wide open so I'm hoping to have a, a good bit of clog here I'm seeing some little bit of roots on the auger let's see uh, let's see what the head retrieves the water's just gushing out now all right so oh yeah let me get this up here Yeah, so I, I know that that's not all of the roots in there, but that's a good little haul for the, the first go around. Again, this is only 10 or 12 feet deep, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this a few more times and see if I can dig some more of these roots out of here. So this time I'm gonna run that through there super slow to get a real thorough job of trying to entangle as many of those roots as I can in there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing when I do my, my final cleaning. I'm gonna run that as slow as I can. So I felt a little bit of resistance with that retrieval tool on the way in and just a little bit on the way back. So I may have got a large majority of those uh, that root mass out of there. Let's get a look at it coming back out here. So I'm running the guy so I'm running the snake in reverse here through the main sewer line. See that little bit of root there on the auger. So that was that was actually on there when I rented the machine. Oh, there it goes. And here it comes out of here. So yeah, it's uh get pulled out here. So again, it got a little bit more root mass, but uh, not nearly as much as the first time. Uh, probably run this through one more time, and then I'm gonna switch to that cutting tool. What I didn't want to happen was to run that cutter first, and then cut up a big bunch of root mass, and then just for it to get clogged up uh, further down the line. So if you see here, I've still got another 150 foot to the main sewer line at my house here. My house sits back really far off the road So I really don't want to, to just recreate that problem and move it to move it further down the line here So, you know, I've got this access here, but it's another 150 feet to the main and I've only got uh, 100 foot of snake here with me So I wanted to retrieve as much of it out of the line as I could uh, first and then uh, run the uh, the cutter through it uh, at the end as a, as a cleaning 
uh, more than anything. I wanted to, to remove as much of that mass as I could uh, with the retrieval tool. So sort of as I expected, uh, I ran the, the root cutter tool uh, through the, the sewer line and uh, I didn't feel any resistance the whole way through so I'm confident I got all of, uh, all of my problem roots uh, out, of the, uh, out of the sewer line. Uh, I'll be able to confirm that of course with my, my sewer camera uh, that I'm going to run through it next. And Again, there's a, there's a link to that video on how to make the, uh, uh, the do-it-yourself uh, sewer camera for, for really cheap. Uh, I'll put a link to that uh, in the uh, description below. There's really three main ways to kill roots once you've cleared a blockage. Uh, those are going to be copper sulfate, rock salt, and a foaming root agent like Rudex. Uh, I'll put a link to those in the description below. So Rudex is going to foam up when it comes in contact with water and, and, and coat the, the entire uh, cross section of your pipe, you know, all the way up to the top. So if you notice in the video, uh, after I cleaned the roots, you could see where the roots were, uh, the roots were coming into the pipe around the top edge of the pipe. So the Rudex is actually going to foam up and uh, completely coat the inside of your pipe or some of the other products. Uh, aren't really going to reach the top of your pipe so they really aren't going to be effective until the roots make their way down to the water um, the water line of your sewer pipe so i really hope you enjoy the video i hope that it gives you the uh, the confidence needed to, to tackle this project on your own uh, i was a little hesitant myself to do it uh, uh, i've used professionals in the past and honestly just wasn't pleased with the results that i've got so i feel like i've got better results uh, doing it on my own for for much cheaper Again, I was able to, to build my own uh, sewer camera and uh, rent, uh, rent the device to, to clean out uh, the roots from my sewer for uh, cheaper than I would pay a professional and probably did a much better job. So uh, hopefully you can have the similar results yourself. Uh, hopefully it gives you the confidence you needed uh, to do this project on your own. Um, if that is the case, I'd like to hear about it in the comments below. Make sure to drop a comment. Uh, also give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got a a lot of other uh, uh, great content on my channel. I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Are you kidding me? Really? And now, Alicia.